Due to popular demand, here is one video that has absolutely everything you want to know about Clover Lawns. We compiled all of the questions in our comments and we are answering them here in one place. First, this is what our backyard looked like when we had a grass lawn. We live in a drought and didn't want to use all of the water and resources required to keep the grass alive, so we just let it slowly die out. Our grass really didn't have any benefits, and we researched a lot about clover and how it's superior to grass in so many ways, and we were ready for the switch. If you're looking for clover, try local nurseries, but if you're unable to find it, you can get some online from Outside Pride. We actually used a combination of mini clover, white dutch clover, and a native clover to our area because we wanted to see a lot of diversity in our lawn. We just added the seeds and a topsoil. After planting the clover, we saw growth within a few days and saw the biggest difference after two weeks. We noticed that the clover was growing faster and more full in the sunnier areas and it was more patchy in the shade, so we did need to reseed there. Some people ask about clover in the winter. We don't experience snow here, but we did have a really rainy season and the clover was still completely fine. It was never super muddy and stayed thriving throughout all of the seasons. But of course, this depends on where you live. Durability is another huge question we get. We walk on the grass, we hang out here, have picnics. It's also been no issues with our two small dogs. Another benefit to clover is that it does not turn yellow with dog urine like grass does. We've had big dogs come over here with no issues. Similar to grass, clover is not good for dogs or cats to consume, but we've noticed that our pets have zero interest in eating clover. They were definitely more interested in eating grass when we had grass. We also get asked about weeds. We still get weeds in our clover, but we don't mind them as much because they blend in more with the wild clover look than with grass, but you could easily pull them out if you want to. Clover does not take as much maintenance as a grass lawn. I personally love the overgrown look, but for those who don't, you can still mow it. We mow ours every couple of months, and we've tried every type of mower. It's all been fine. We did have an issue with raccoons and skunks digging up our clover looking for grubs, but we just receded there, and it hasn't been an issue long term. Some of the benefits of clover over grass is that clover is drought tolerant. It does not take the same amount of water and resources as grass. It increases biodiversity. Bees and local pollinators love it. It adds nitrogen back into the soil, and it's even edible. We planted our clover in combination with native vines and native wildflowers that were waiting to come in, but overall we love the look of clover and we love that it is a more eco-friendly option when compared to grass. It's super easy to start and maintain and hopefully this answers all of your questions. Thank you.